and we're back here in the studio for you, Rick. <laughs> that's the that's the worst finger I've I, ever seen. I just remembered that. <laughs> we'll give the finger. <laughs> we've we've uh, anybody's listened to this show over the last year. That's been kind of our joke. Is Rick's given us the finger, which is basically the the cue that we're back uh, live in the air. But um, you know, we're gonna do two more songs coming up here, and this is from Joey and I's uh, covered bridge album, Rockwood Strings and Hope. And um, we'll do two of these songs. Let me talk a little bit about these songs because they've got some pretty cool stories. Uh, the first one we're going to do is I Never Said. And that song, um, we really had a fun time putting that together just because of all the harmonies. I mean, we had three or four layered harmonies on that, um, just trying to make sure we hit all the right harmonies. And, um, you know, that kind of adds to that whole... The, the song would not be the same without all the harm, harmonies, on the vocal harmonies. We kind of created a wall of harmonies. I was thinking of Phil Spector. The only thing, I didn't have a gun in the studio. So. <laughs> but we, we were trying to think of a wall of harmonies because that song needed that. And um, we actually pulled it off live last summer uh, when I was listening to the uh, video. We did that song live at the uh, Guild. Yep, that was cool. And we actually pulled that one off really well, as far as the harmonies. You, you were, you hit those harmonies, Rick. You were in there. And I, it, you know, if I remember correctly, I wasn't on that track, was I? You, you did not sing on that. track. It was that other track off yeah, that yeah, CD. Yeah, you didn't remember that CD. Yeah, I do remember it. <laughs> no, I tell you, I think I told you this earlier last year. You know, this is a CD that I can listen to from beginning to end without skipping tracks. But I have to admit that this song is actually my favorite. Well, the one thing I wanted to do, and Joe and I kind of, when we thought this thing out to do this rock album, we wanted to try to add a lot of elements in the in the music that you can really only appreciate with headphones. Um, so if you put headphones and you listen to this album, there's a lot of ear candy in it. And we, we deliberately put some ear candy in there. So um, we really had fun doing it. And a lot of people have really enjoyed the, the CD. Uh, the second song we're going to do is She's the One for Me, and this has a funny story because I wrote this for my wife, but I have Joe sing it. And um, funny, when I told uh, my wife, I said, you know, I wrote this song for you, and I've written a couple songs for her, and she knows the ones, but this one is it has a really uh, funny kind of a storyline to it, but uh, I wrote this song for Cheryl, but I could not sing it the way it needed to be sung, so I had Joe sing it. So the first time I let her hear it, uh, she was somewhat surprised that Joey was singing it, but after she she heard it for the first time, she goes, I really like that song, and I'm glad you had Joe sing it, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> Crushing blow. But uh, she really she actually enjoys this song very much, and uh, I'm glad she does. This is called She's the One for Me. So we're going to do I Never Said, and She's the One for Me, a twofer from Covered Bridge. And again, thank you for listening in tonight. You're listening to the Covered Bridge Music Hour on Digital Street Radio.
blue jeans and white t-shirts My girl is simple and true She grows soft but she rub you up Won't stop loving till you had enough First time that I met her I knew Like a lion, she'll be on your back. If you 